All right, Mark the Movie Man here for the Final Cut and WeLiveFilm.com, and I'm here with two of the gentlemen who are behind Don't Go to the Reunion. We've seen their past projects, Teddy, as well as Blood Brothers. Uh, now, you guys have done shorts before. This is your first feature film. What could you tell me w was the challenge you ran into with this versus doing the short? Probably the biggest thing was just, I mean, we had a lot more people. We had a lot more people to worry about. And then just, I guess, funding, because we knew kind of our, our base we needed for the shorts and just expanding that and seeing what we could get. Yeah, I mean, having it with this one, we had all of the actors stay at one location. And that was a, a challenge in and of itself, just making sure that everyone was happy, everyone was getting along, and... Um, yeah, that everyone was fed. <laughs> <laughs> Food, food's an important part on the yeah, set. Yes. So. Uh, now, uh, d what kind of other uh, did you, for your funding, you went to uh, Kickstarter for this, correct? And how did that work for you? Because I hear good and bad things about it. I mean, would you do it again if with your next project? Or? Yeah, Kickstarter has been unbelievable for us slash studios. Um, we've got all our projects funded. Um, we've heard horror stories, too, where people didn't raise nearly even close to what they're looking for, but luckily it worked for us. We also um, did Indiegogo as well. Yeah, um, it was a really good experience. I mean, it really got the movie out there beforehand, and yeah, I mean, it got people excited. We got a lot of our actors just because they heard of the Kickstarter. Awesome. Now, uh, talking about the movie, I, I have had a, I've had a chance to see it because I have friends who helped fund it, so <laughs> I've had a chance to see it. And uh, my question to you is, it definitely seems like you were going for a mixture of 80s and 90s vibe. Was that what you were going for with this? or Definitely. Is. I mean, there's so many films that we love from you know both decades. We want to try to incorporate what we could. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely a combo of, uh, well, we wanted to do everything that we loved about slashers. So we kind of started from the beginning, and then without giving too much away... We work to the end, sure. <laughs> which you guys will know what I'm talking about when you see the movie. Yeah, I, I don't want to spoil it for anyone because it, it was a lot of fun. Now, I did see some uh, influences in there, and you've got a lot of horror references and some obscure ones. How did you come up with the movies you were going to reference in the film? Well, it's just films we loved, lines we liked, deaths we loved, all that kind of stuff. Just stuff that from our past when growing up that we wanted to see again. Yeah, I mean, I, being a huge horror fan, I grew up on slashers, and I wanted to make kind of a greatest hits mixtape of all my favorite slasher moments. Was there, and I know you're a big fan of Scream, too, was there just a little bit of hint of wanting to go a Scream route with it? A little bit. I mean, I think that it is uh, kind of the classic 80s slasher with a little bit of the whodunit vibe, which is very uh, Scream-esque. But, um, yeah, we, we kind of wanted to include, like, a, a little bit of everything that we loved. And now uh, after this, uh, you'll be promoting this. You got anything already in the hopper cooking for Slasher Studios? A couple things here and there. We've been talking over. We just met the other day. Um, went over an idea or two, so we'll see where that goes. Yeah, we've been talking about possibly doing a winter slasher because there just hasn't been enough, and blood always looks good in the snow. I'm here with Tawny, one of the stars of Don't Go to the Reunion. Now, you have the pleasure, and this is going to be a little spoiler for everyone, but you have the pleasure of being one of the first, the first to, to fall victim to the slasher. Um, now, were you also involved behind the scenes or whatnot, or were just nope, up to that I just, point? I just worked on the two days of filming, basically, and uh, yeah. that was it. <laughs> now, how was it like to revisit your high school years um, with, with the high school scenes in the opening? Well, it was a little weird, because I, I was kind of the geek in high school, <laughs> Big surprise there. Uh, so playing sort of the popular kid who makes fun of everybody else was kind of strange, and it was just a, it was different being in a high school setting and being the one making fun of people. <laughs> now, have you done a lot of indie films at all, or this was my first movie? So really? yeah, looking forward to some more. But <laughs> so you did get bit by the bug. You're going to be doing more then? Absolutely. I mean, I've always wanted to get into film. I do stage mostly. So oh, stage. yeah. <laughs> Uh, any uh, stage productions that you've done recently? Or? Um, I've got one coming up next month called A Thousand Times Good Night. Uh, so that should be at uh, the Sunset Playhouse near Milwaukee in Elm Grove. So. Awesome. Great. And uh, are you going to be doing any more horror when you do acting? Or are you just going to uh, see what comes at, uh, up for you? I'd absolutely love to. Um, it's I, it's going to be whatever auditions come up and everything. So. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Thanks. You bet. <laughs> And we're here with Hannah, another star of uh, Don't Go to the Reunion, uh, one of the other Scream Queens, maybe, we could say. Not quite. I but wouldn't describe myself. No. <laughs> but you, you were one of the um, main parts in the film. Uh, have you done a lot of acting before? Was this your first gig? No, this is not my first. I did two other ones for Kevin and Steve, and then I have 
two like extra parts mm -hmm. in features that are coming out soon. And then, yeah, did a lot of theater when I was in high school. Awesome, awesome. Now, uh, are you a big horror fan, or are you <laughs> are you a fan of horror, or did you just, you know... Are oh, no, I love horror. That's why I found Kevin and Steve in the first place. Like, their website with all the reviews. Really? I didn't even know they were filmmakers, but, oh, no, I love it. <laughs> well, that's great, that's great. Uh, the, the scene that you're in, where you, where you get offed, uh, what <laughs> was that like with the blood? Because uh, that looked pretty gross. Yeah, no, it, d it didn't taste the best, definitely. But yeah. I think the most awkward part was just having Steve's crotch in my face for an hour and a half at a time. But I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, there like, you go. Your eyes, like, go to that resting, and, like, you just stare straight ahead. You don't realize what you're looking at. Like, oh, hey, it's Steve's crotch. <laughs> and then he would look down and think I'm, like, staring. No, I swear, I'm not looking at your crotch. And who says film isn't glamorous, right? <laughs> We are here with Stephanie Lee Rose, the star actress of Don't Go to the Reunion. How are you doing tonight? I'm wonderful. We just had our three... Th I'm sorry, I like to embarrass. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we had our theatrical release, so it was, it was awesome. It was great. Well, the crowd seemed to really enjoy it. Now, uh, now, have you done a lot of acting before? Was this your first gig? Or? <laughs> oh, no. Um, no, I, did my, I went to school for theater, and I think since I was eight. I've been acting. So I started in, you know, plays, and then you work your way up, and you're in the drama club, and went to school, and uh, here I am today, the, the new Scream Queen. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you mentioned in the Q&A that uh, you hadn't watched a lot of the horror films. Uh, now, after working on it, have you become a fan? Oh, absolutely. I, I have to say, though, I'm actually more of a fan of the fans than anything else uh, across the board because there's this community that loves the film and loves the genre but at the same time they love you as a performer and will support you and you know give you kudos or, I, I've never felt so uh, well supported by a community so I, I mean I like it and I think there's a chance too it's you it can be fun and campy and scary all, all at the same time so I'm a fan now I have well, to say. Well, Don't Go to the Reunion does definitely have all those elements. I, I have to ask, I think you have one of the best screams in the film. Uh, how much did you practice that, and did you did you hurt anything when you did that? Um, uh, no, I didn't hurt anything. I'm trained. I'm a trained actor, you know. No, um, <laughs> I've seen some stuff, so screaming, like your life depended on it, wasn't that hard. No, um, I, I have a vocal coach. Too, so I think it's just a matter of learning how to do it properly. But no, you know, when you have a gift, you have a gift. So, I don't know. Well, we thank you very much. It was a great movie, and I uh, appreciate <laughs> it very much. Thank you, guys. you bet.